Hi everyone. Today I'll review TCS offer letter. So I'm excited to uh, share all the information with you. So for confidentiality, I have removed all the information from this offer letter, and you could see only seven pages. But in ideal scenario, they have more than 20 pages, uh, mentioning all the benefits, perks in details. So we'll start from beginning. So as you can see in the very uh, first page, you can see some reference number. And this reference number will contains your EP number. So EP is experienced professional. So TCA is normally hired in two way. One is freshers and one is experienced professional. For experienced professional or lateral entry, they will provide an EP number from iBegin portal. So that EP number will be mentioned here. And this is like you know the place where this offer is generated. So they have uh, Mumbai, Hyderabad, and various other location. Their HR team will be there. So based on their location, they will process your offer. And this is a pretty new offer letter. It's offer letter of last year. So uh, now uh, this is for a profile for uh, uh, TCS uh, C3A. Uh, so C3A basically assistant consultant, and uh, this is basically grade. So they have multiple grades. So I have already talked about this grade in a different video. I'll put a link somewhere in the top. And uh, let's uh, like you know once they will process the offer you will have an option to uh, seven days to accept the offer if you are not uh, accepting this offer by that time this offer will be null and void so make sure once you receive the offer you need to accept the offer within seven days in their ibegin portal so that that is the first and foremost functionality uh, formality that you need to do now coming back to the basic salary so i have uh, removed all the stuff but i in the last page of the offer letter i'll show you the uh, breakup salary breakup and the table so they have basic salary uh, in the fixed component and then they have the uh, bucket bucket benefit which com comprises all the other uh, expenses and other stuff now it is the hra so that is again 50% uh, of 40 to 50% of your basic so based on your location uh, they provide a LTA and food coupon. Okay, food card for this uh, role basically it's C3A. They are giving 3000 uh, per month as a food coupon. And personal allowances, they are giving some amount. And also, uh, you will be eligible for uh, 1500 rupees vehicle maintenance allowances in, uh, in this particular band. And there are uh, two variable components. So we can see one is uh, monthly performance pay. So monthly performance pay, the guy will get around 11,600 rupees per month. So this is uh, something which comes every month. So uh, nothing will be directed. You could expect around 11,600, whatever they have mentioned. But there is one more thing is personal uh, bonus. So personal bonus is 11,600 rupees per month. It will be paid quarterly based on your performance and your unit business unit performance. So here you can expect some reduction. So you may not get the full amount, but in this amount you may expect some reduction and it will come once in a quarter. So that uh, two variable pairs of now we have seen. There is one more variable pair. We'll discuss it later. Okay, the next one is retention benefit. So retention incentive is like you know eighty thousand. It will be paid once in a year. So kind of uh, uh, variable pay or bonus uh, because you are staying for the company and this will keep continue. So uh, uh, this may change, but as of now, uh, this 80,000 for this particular grade and you may uh, even get it the second and third year. So that, that will be there with your company. It is not for the first year. It will basically continue. Then uh, we have total three uh, types of variable pay in TCS. And then coming to city allowances, so 2,700 rupees. This is for a metro city. For non-metro city, the amount will be little less. And other benefits. So TCS has uh, possibly highest uh, medical benefit in all the service-based company. They call it HIS, Health Insurance Scheme. And uh, this band will eligible for Gold Plus Health Scheme. So you can see. You will get uh, uh, domiciliary expenses, which is like you know outdoor treatment and all other expenses, uh, six thousand rupees uh, per annum per person. So that is basically like uh, cover all outdoor and all medicine and all doctors uh, like you know visit stuff and uh, basic hospitalization expenses is two lakh insured person per annum. And you can cover uh, self, spouse, and three children. 
and it will be uh, given by a uh, bond by the TCS so that is a very good stuff now coming to the floater coverage which is absolutely amazing so uh, with the small amount I think you need to pay and you will be eligible for 14 lakhs a floater coverage for yourself and your family so these 14 lakhs will be added to your 2 lakhs so eventually you will get 16 lakhs health benefit with just paying some little amount even even you can top uh, top up this amount if, if you think it is required and then coming to uh, ESI so possibly uh, like you know nobody uh, in TCS will uh, comes under this uh, ESI because it is if the salary is low, you'll uh, comes under this uh, ESI benefit. Now maternity benefit, so women employee will they will eligible for maternity benefit. This is uh, comes under Indian government law. Okay, now uh, professional membership, so they will give uh, some professional members reimbursement. Uh, some of the uh, restaurant, uh, some of the their shop basically. Including uh, Titan, uh, Chroma, and lot of other star budget it comes under uh, Tata's own shop so we'll get a benefit from there and, and then like uh, you need to take a, a membership of Tata Trust so 250 rupees will be given to the Tata Trust so that is uh, the deduction and the retail benefit uh, which is a provident fund so again uh, you will be eligible for PF so PF will be directed as per EPF scheme and then gratuity will be also directed now it is a uh, uh, probation period so TCS does have probation period so once you join the company you will have three months of probation period once you complete the probation period your contract will be permanent and in permanent you should need to submit around three months of notice period in probation it will be one month working hours and uh, mobility it uh, as per the law and this offer letter is valid valid for uh, seven days and good part is that uh, they are giving 120 days for joining so those who are uh, those who are having uh, three months of notice period they can easily join tcs because uh, after uh, accepting this offer letter you will get 120 days so you can basically decide your date of joining as per your own convenience so that is very good thing and now coming back to the final page that i think people will be excited to see so here you can see like for confidentiality i have removed this uh, yearly component but still we have the monthly one so basically it's 22,000 rupees bucket benefit is given uh, 73,000 rupees uh, which comes uh, to like monthly pay performance pay performance bonus CT allowances and in in H H HIS and annual other components you can see it is 27,000 permanent bond gratuity will be deducted 1882 uh, 82 rupees and retention uh, Will not be uh, deducted but 80,000 will be paid once in a month so it is comes under 1.26 lakh uh, per month so possibly uh, with this you'll able to get around 1 point, uh, 1 point around 0 0.05 uh, per month after tax deduction and you can see uh, this uh, bucket 2 basically uh, 73,000 rupees how it is divided to HRA, LTA, food card and then uh, vehicle maintenance and personal analysis so these all together comes under this uh, bucket benefit so that is all about tcs offer letter if you like to see any other offer letter or salary sleep review just uh, drop a comment below